at my pants. Come on. <laughs> you two are looking so strong. <laughs> Where is Mora? We're just coming home. Hey, everyone's looking so different and so cool. <laughs> oh, no, Papa, it is good to be back home. <laughs> Papa, let's go inside. Hey, Mama, it is good to be home. Good to see you, Ibo Binab, my husband. Nothing will taught me the wisdom of the ancestors, my tradition, and the history of my people. OBDK! This is not the time for question and answer. Can't you see the state of your father? Socrates. Ibe, you've been admitted at various hospitals. Yet. The doctor said I have liver cirrhosis. And it's not his care. That is what they said. But I think that if you celebrate your father, our ancestors who put you on this throne will cure you. Mm. Oh, BDK, you surprised me. Mom, you can be a grace to my father, but you're still a woman. Our elders say that a man who is drawn by a woman should know that his days are numbered. Oh, BDK, are you trying to insult me? Ibe, did you hear that? Please, Ibe. What have you said to what I told you? I will discuss this with my council of chiefs. Then I will consult you after your meeting with your council of chiefs. Igwe, I'll take my leave now. Igweza, please don't feel slighted. I love the spirit of my son. Even if I die today, at his young age, he will do well as the next thing. It's truly living up to his name for me again.
Honorable Uzo, you are welcome. Thank you. You have shown that you are a child of necessity, a child of destiny, and a child who understands the yearnings of his people, especially your parents. Um, Igwe, uh, the prejudice are quite in order, but there shouldn't be overdone. After all, Chibuzo is no longer a small boy, but a man. Ichi Atuebu, have time has entered your school? Are you not afraid to interrupt the way? Okay, Igwe, you are mushroom. Hello, hello, yes, your face. If my wife were here, I would have told her to use you and cook. Oh, fellow, and give it to every spirit to eat. Huh? Where were you during the Civil War? When we went to battlefront and battled it out, you ran to Obunike Cave and hid yourself. Oh. You come here to talk. When men talk, don't talk. Igwe, did you hear that? Uh -oh. You are not afraid. Afraid of what? Muwa ba atuebu. Jealous man. I don't fear human beings. I don't fear evil spirits. I fear nobody. Atuebu. Igwe. Okadibu. Igwe. Respect yourselves. Yes. How much you know that? Both of you are elders. No, Igwe. This is. Half elder! Mm -hmm. Elder! Mm -hmm. Now quick, keep quiet! Chibuzo, as I was saying, you're welcome again. Huh? No one. Um, today is a day of merriment. Huh? In your honor, my family and I have organized this reception for you. Huh? So shall we go into the palace? Thank you, Your Highness, but I don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. Why? This reception is for you. Yes, Your Highness, but I don't eat such food. Gee, Bozo. You no longer eat rice? I eat rice. So? But I don't eat chicken. Mm -hmm. Neither do I eat any kind of meat, even fish. Chibuzo, you are confusing us. Igwe, there is nothing confusing about what he said. He only means that if he eats chicken and beef the way they usually do it, then nothing will be left for the rest of us. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. That, Your Highness, is not what I meant. I am now a Hindu. I do not eat any food that has been cooked with meat or fish. Thank you, Your Highness, for the reception. I shall take my leave now. Chibuzo, you have disrespected me and embarrassed the whole community. Imagine the, 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 the disgrace. Even the Igwe. Papa, I have done no wrong. I was only obeying my religious beliefs. What nonsense religion? Chibuzo, I am asking you, what nonsense religion? Papa, please. With all due respect, I can take anything but please not an insult on my religion. But that was not a religion before you went to India. Mama, I traveled to India to study. And when I got there, I got converted to Hinduism. Which is a natural religion and I love it. Chibuzo! Mama, please. My name is now Aspara and Satya Sal. That cannot happen in my house. Papa, would you respect? And I have the fundamental right to practice whatever religion I choose. Papa, you cannot deny me my freedom of worship. You are a dreamer, Chibuzo. I tell you, I am a dreamer, Chibuzo. No, Papa. You are a dreamer. I am not a dreamer. I am a realist. I have come home 
to help my people and spread my new religion. I have come to offer them good health and deliver them from bondage. They are in darkness, I know, but they shall see light. And by the help of Brahma, myself, I shall conquer. You must be under his spell. Yes, eh? yes. How can you explain that a child has suckled with my own breast? Sent to school, we rise up to revolt against his own parents. Surely you must be under his spell. You are. Yes. Hey! Yes. Oh, no, no. Time, you people will understand why you have to believe in Brahma. I'm having a point in the hospital. And I want to thank you for taking care of Papa and Mama while I was away in India. I really do appreciate it. I mean, because of them, you even had to work at Onicha from here in the village. Mm, yes. I see, I decided to stay close to them. Moreover, Omonia is not far from Onisha. From the express, it's just about 10 minutes' ride. And why live at Onisha and pay exorbitant house rents when there are enough rooms here? Mm. It doesn't make sense. You did well, my brother. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Tibuzo, you have rested well now. What are your plans? Why? My plans are very simple. I have been able to secure an appointment at Jennifer's Hospital here in Omonia. Why Omonia? I mean, you're supposed to be at Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja, or even in Ugu, where you can make much money. Mora, everything is not money. You will understand the time, okay? Listen, I love nature. And I want to stay close to nature. Moreover, I want to be here in the village so that I can get enough herbs to cure my patients and at the same time practice medicine. <laughs> Why herbs? I mean, you studied orthodox medicine. You see, I traveled to India to study medicine because they are very good at their practice of medicine. Like the university I attended in New Delhi. There we combined homeopathic medicine with orthodox medicine. And every day, I wish we could do the same with our colleges of medicine here in Nigeria. Mora, do you know that with herbs, you can cure a HIV AIDS patient? You don't mean it. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. For instance, after determining the viral load of every case I handle, I know what to do. Whether to apply homeopathy or orthodox medicine. Yes. It's good to hear that. But, Tibuza, something is bothering me. And what is that? Tibuza, you're coming back home with laurels. You're supposed to bring happiness to our parents. But rather, it is now the opposite. And is that supposed to be a compliment or what? You know quite well that all is not well. Mora, if all is not well, how am I responsible? My brother, please, I want you to denounce your new religion. No way! I will not denounce my religion. Mora, that religion that you are talking about dates back 1,500 years ago. See, I want to plead with you to please come back to Christianity and be the Catholic we have always been. One day, I'm going to make you a Hindu. And you will see. I will not see anything. Tibuza, you have put a sword into what has bound us together. And things have fallen apart. And you are pretending you don't know. Mora, you talk the way you talk. Because of your ignorance. No, you are the one who is ignorant and unknowledgeable over what we are talking about. Mora, if you insult me, I will deal with and you. And I will tell you that in your mundane world, nothingness is obsessive, yet self-destructive. Mora, what is it? 
And Mama, nothing. I'm sorry, Mama, I'm sorry. I will invite Chibuzo to hear from him also. So that... Uh, so that what? So that what? Huh? If we have you suddenly become weak like pounded program, Uliede, or has your sickness affected your brain? Atwim. Who are you to talk to me like that? Are you going mad? I am going mad because you connived with Chibuzo and Aloy to destroy our legacies. Me? Could I with who? If not so, why have you not banished the two of them for importing foreign religion? Why? Why should I banish Chibuzo or his father? Don't we have Christians and Muslims among us here? Igwe has spoken through his nose. Igwe, if you allow this, then the we are foreseen. It means Indians will invade here. Igwe. And that would mean second colonialism, having been colonized earlier by the British. But Igwe, I can assure you that we are going to use the last energy at our disposal to declare your throne vacant. Ibukuntaje. 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 You have to do something. Ochoma, you have to do something. Otherwise, if anything comes out of it, you'll be part of it. Why should we be the ones mobilizing the people to overthrow the Igwe? That is what I don't understand. I wonder. Eh? And you know, Igwe has been ruling us very well. Eliza, which Igwe has been Good ruling you very well? Sir. So that's what you came to cause to my wife? Good my husband, stop eh? causing confusion in our community. Now, if you don't get out of this compound, I will present you as sacrifice to this Don't be your end. Please, my husband. Don't be your end. Stop causing confusion. Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you What is the matter with you? Must you carry everything on your head? Ochoma, you are nothing but Ufu. Ufu! So you want me to keep quiet and allow foreigners to, to, to come and enslave us in our land? Eh? Let me tell you, outside Christianity, we're not going to give any other religion a chance because we, if we do that, nobody knows what, what will happen. Why are you telling people that the Igwe... Shut up that to your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Ochoma, let me tell you, outside is your beauty. Your brain is an empty hole. Empty hole! Ibu Kunteje. Empty hole! As big as you are, you allow that small thing to come and gossip to you, to come and brainwash you. So, madam, how are you feeling today? I'm better now, doctor. I've slept well in the last three days. That's very good. I'm happy to hear that. You see, what I do is not only dependent on my practice as a medical doctor. Brahma, whom I serve, is a healing being. And he has just used me to heal you. That's great, doctor. Thank you. You see, madam, if you do what I'm about to tell you now, you would hardly fall sick again. Please tell me, doctor. I'm ready to do anything. I want you to know who Brahma is. Please tell me, doctor. Who is Brahma? I'll tell you. Madam, you are not compelling me. That's why you are with me. Women who are lawyers don't marry on time. Men run away from them because they perceive that stubbornness in them. Mom, it is not the case with all of us. Moreover, the stubbornness is an erroneous impression on some women. When you try to put some facts straight to some people, they say you argue a lot and that you're stubborn. That's it.
Kibuzo. Kibuzo. Are you not the one I am calling? Has that your God deafen your ears and the soul your sense of gun? Chibuzo, what has come over you? What kind of disobedient son are you? So you have been cast a spell not to listen to your parents. Papa, please. I beg you. Any day, any time you see me in that position, you just saw me. Please do not say a word. When I'm doing yoga, I need the highest level of concentration. When I finish, we can talk. That can never happen in my house. I'd rather die than to see it happen under my roof. Papa, if you're telling me that it's high time I built my own house, I've heard you. But please give me a little time. I just started working. Chibuzo, you are bringing the fire that will consume you. It will fire that will consume you, Chibuzo. In that even. Have I committed the crime that I, I went to Ajakpani to marry a new wife? Eh? I blame myself. I would have gone to see you. But what did I do now? Murder! The God of Alam cut off your tongue. How can you cook for me without meat or fish in it? Have things gone so badly that I can't afford them? Eh? Nine. Those meat and fish we eat have the right to live just as we are living. Meaning what? Meaning that the code that created you created them, so we are not supposed to eat them. Chinel, have you by any means have romance with animal? Not at all, no. But I am beginning to sympathize with them. Okay, who told you this? Who told you this? I'm beginning to see that a great brain is manipulating your nonsense, hopeless head. If you must know, Nai, I went to the hospital for checkup, and Dr. Chibuzo Oreoku preached to me, and I enjoyed it. Hello! Omunye! Omunye! Atu! Isiku! Come on! Water has entered the pumpkin's fruit. Ha! Omunye is in trouble. Omunye is in trouble.
This is good. Congratulations, my daughter. Eh? You have made me proud. Thank you. Eh? <laughs> I'm so happy that my daughter has gotten admission to study law at the prestigious University of Nigeria and Soka, Edigo Campus. <laughs> that means at the end of the next five years, you will become a barrister at law. <laughs> eh? Yes. Oh, I pray that OBDK will take after you and secure admission at the right time. <laughs> and I will be a father to a lawyer and an engineer. Mm -hmm. eh? Obinago, eh? I don't support the idea of Alan and Daisy to read law. What has that got to do with the course she wants to read? I'm a woman. I know that men don't like marrying female lawyers. Yes, Daddy. Don't mind your mother. Since you've always wanted to read law, go ahead and read law. Even if you want to have a doctorate degree, PhD in law, I am there for you. Thank you, Dad. Huh? <laughs> Mom, what about you? Adese, if it is law, Count me out. But if you are reading education, eh? Mom, for the fact that you read education doesn't mean I should read education too. Law practice is more challenging. Oh. Is education more challenging? Mom, not as challenging as law. By the time I become a lawyer, I'll be handling different cases, Mom. Adese. Yes, Dad. You have my vision. You have a vision higher than girls of your age. Hmm? Thank you, Daddy. What affects you affects me. What affects you affects me too. Daddy. I must do something because. I love you. Hmm. The rainbow is made of a beautiful colors. So many beautiful colors. But those colors have turned to black. Meaning that danger don't in the air. You are a true son of your father. And I sing one. What shall I do? Hmm. It is not you alone. I perceive the smell of decaying flesh. Someone! Wants to turn Omunya upside down. Someone wants to see this community in dreams. Hmm. When the spirits do the eager the dance, no mortals scamper for safety. But the gods are mighty. Oh, they, they, they have always been wise. Yeah. They are very kunke. It's undisputable. The chickens have gone to rust. We shall see in three days when the spirits go to trade in the market. Okay. Okay. Um, Anya Isingo. Mm. Uh, you and Isingo are uh, one. Mm. Right. Trust uh, to be handled. Mm. Mm. Go and rest your bones. Okay. Go. May the moon give way to sunrise. Before I continue, I would like everybody to drop his sad face. I have gone inside. I saw the eagle. Hmm. All is well. 
Climbs on top of a tall tree or a mountain, he will never see it. Children, where is your son? To what purpose do I owe this visit? Because I am a Christian. Hmm. What affects the eyes also affects the nose. When the eyes cry, the nose follows suit with mucus. Where is your son, Chibuzo? My son is not at home. Hmm. I have seen that your son wants to bring calamity to you and the entire Munya. So I have come to warn him to retrace his steps because he is treading on dangerous grounds where even spirits are afraid to tread. Oh, yes. He should stop polluting the minds of our people with his strange religion. Else, stop this nonsense. 
Where is your thing? All right. I will tell you that I do not fear tomorrow. For I have seen yesterday. And today is passing by. The priest always will. We neither take part nor lot in this matter. Please leave our company. Oh, I will go. Oh, yes, I will go. But when the come comes out to become, the fool comes out to see, and the wise stays back to see. It won't be long. My God will not allow your word to come to pass. Take your prophets to your worshippers. Hey! This is what we know, Mume. It won't be long. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Excuse me. What did the foul do to you? Come here, cause I'm not on anything. Why are you chasing it? Nothing. We're chasing it to kill it because my father said he wants to eat pepper soup. You have to stop chasing these animals. Huh? Listen, these animals have the right to live, just like you and I. You don't have to chase and kill them. Huh? Okay. We've heard you. Thank you, and may the blessings of Brahma be with you. So we human beings are now being compared with animals. Hey, can I hope that Indian doctor is not going mad. Prescriptions are waiting on it. Chumuz, Your Highness, you are God sent. Thank you very much. I thank the merciful Brahma for sparing your life. I also thank your daughter for coming promptly to call me. What else can I say? You see, Your Highness, there are certain kinds of food I would like you to abstain from eating if you want to live long and well. You know, liver cirrhosis is dangerous. But I'm happy I've been able to put it under control. You have really put it under control. Your medicine is a gift. Choose a very genius. Thank you, Heinz. When you left, I heard what those doctors said about you. They respect doctors trained in India. Thank you very much, Your Highness. Honestly, I am flattered. You don't have to be flattered. What is this? This is Antonio. Thank you. Doctor, you're welcome. Thank you. And thank you very much. You're welcome. She is my first daughter and child. She's studying law at the University of Nigeria in the campus. She's in her fourth year. She's with intelligence. Nature. You see, Your Highness, I love nature. And the 
world is a beautiful place. I see. Your Highness, there is something very important I need. What does it tell me? I need a piece of land. A piece of land? Yes. Okay, you have it. You have it. Really? Yes. Thank you so much, Iris. I have finished my own story. This is what happened here today. Chibuzo, what have you got to say? What have you got to say? I don't have anything to say. I think you won't say anything. People who wouldn't ordinarily be able to talk to us are not doing so. People like Anisi and others. She was a woman. It was an object of ridicule. What did you do? No, 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 no. What have you done to me? What have you done? Sister Tessa, I am begging you to please consider our parents. Please. Nora. What did you call your brother? Set it aside. Yeah. So you have joined him? <laughs> no, Papa. No. What are you Why are you calling that name? Mama, I'm sorry. Please. I, I only called him what he said he is now called. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt you, and Papa. Why should you call him that name? Papa, please, we are not fighting him. All I ask is for us to understand ourselves. Kibuzo, what do you want us to do? Mama, please, please stop all this. Mama, for how long are we going to continue living like this in this family? For as long as you stay mute in that your strange belief. Something very important I want to ask you for. What is it? I'll ask. Please. I want you to share a land between me and my brother so that I can use mine to build my temple. Sadly, Chibuzo, that is not fair. What is not fair, Mama? What right do you have to tell me that I'm not being fair? And you're pursuing my own salvation and you're telling me that I'm not fair? Laura, leave him. He wants to force me to share the land. Is this the price I have for sending my son to school? Oh, I'm not broken. Please, my Lord, don't do this. Please, let's continue to pray for him. Papa, no, please get hold of yourself. Don't, please. Okay. You're a man. Papa, please, don't get yourself worked up. Chibuzo, if you don't want Papa to get himself worked up, then do the right thing. What's all this? Uh, I have a way you talk to else. Else what? You beat me? Chibuzo! Mama! Mama, leave me! What is it again? Eh? Eat your food. You asked me to prepare ora soup and curry, yet you don't seem to have appetite for it at all. Be cool. My lovely Paulina, you won't understand. Of course I understand. Huh? I know what the problem is. Paulina, what did I not do right? So this is what we get. It's okay. I know we suffer that teachers to send him to the university. I even had to do trading so we can make money to build a befitting house like this for them. But it is all right. Eh? People, just hold yourself together so you will not develop high blood pressure if you have not developed it already. Why should my son despise me this way? My Lord, it's okay. He's not the only son you have. You have more. As Christians, we must go through tribulation. 
Even Job went through tribulation. His wives and children denied him. I have not denied you. Mora has not denied you. We both love you. My Lord. My love. Satyasai. Nora, what is it? You're my brother. I, I want you to have a rethink about what happened out there. It was when you made Papa cry. For the first time in my life, I saw Papa cry. It was when a man above 60 years. How twice you know he's not good for his age? We all know he did not get married to my own time, like most teachers did at that time. Please, don't give him a break. Chuzo, I want you to have a change of mind over this whole issue. Please. I would like you to go for x-ray. Yes, because I'd like to know the state of your heart. It's on my heart? There's nothing to worry about. Jesus. I think your heart has been enlarged. Yes, and um, after the x-ray, if it's something serious, I would have to refer you to a cardiologist. But if it's nothing so serious, I can handle it. But for now, I want you to relax. Um, Mr. Nicholas, please, if you can, I would like you to stay away from red meat for now. As a matter of fact, I would like you to abstain from eating meat today. Doctor. I don't agree with you. If this is another ploy of yours to force me into your religion, you have seen the wrong person. You think I've not heard? The way you coerce people into your religion, making them to be afraid. I will tell the hospital authorities and even the government. Mr. Nicholas, this has absolutely nothing to do with my religion. Mr. Nicholas, this is your health we are talking about here. It's for your own good. Your cholesterol level is very high. And I am telling you what to do. And you're referring me to my religion? Listen. Doctor, you can't deceive me. I said you can't deceive me. If this is your jihad method of questioning people into your religion, Nicholas is the wrong person. Like I said, I'm going to tell the hospital authorities, the government, I'm going to another hospital. Thank you. I'm 
Very richly well and well. I know this is a minor thing. By his grace, I'm well. Hindu Buddhist. that you, Dr. Rakwe, directly or indirectly force your patients into your religion, thereby breaching your Hippocratic oath and the code of conduct of medical practice. 
I would have written to you officially, but for the way you have endeared yourself to me, I decided to take the steps to confirm the allegations. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking the steps. Are they true or false? So you see, apart from my medical practice, I also engage in pure preventive medicine. You have not answered my question. I take it that all the allegations are true. But I'm warning you to desist from that. The next time I get such negative report concerning you, I will take disciplinary action against you. I, Dr. Bernard Genoquia, does not, I repeat, does not condone any unprofessional medical practice from any doctor including you. With due respect, sir, you have not asked one more patient's trip to this hospital every day. As that was not the case. Sir, with all the humility, without sounding ignorant, someone is responsible for it. And by the mercy of Brahma, all the patients that have come to this hospital have had their ailments killed. Sir, if I use pure and preventive medicine, to achieve high level wellness. Does that mean you're guilty of all professional medical practice? So, if my services are no longer needed here, I will take that resolution now. Uh, no, 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 doctor. You see, it has not come to that. It hasn't at all. We all here, you know, appreciate your contributions here. Uh, it's just that I want to advise you to tread justly in the course of your duty. Uh, and I, as the chief medical director of this hospital, I want to grant you a car loan of... Thank you, sir. I, I do not need a car loan. I'm very comfortable. In that case, your salary will be increased by 25%. This will be communicated to me right in good day. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Very tired of staying at home. Knowing you know, that the ASU strike will still be get your mind. Well, the government should do something and let ASU end the strike. They better do something urgently. Because it's come to think of it. Why should the academic staff union of universities on the back on another strike again? By now I would have been in another academic year. Well, even though I'm tired of staying at home, I do not blame ASU. The government should honor the agreement they had with them. Okay, in the present situation, they should just call them back for peace to reign. Mm. Two have died out of the 49 sacked lecturers. Maybe out of frustration. Why did they sack those lecturers? Those lecturers were sacked because they refused to return to the classroom as at when they wanted them to do so. Mm. But you see, I don't blame them because if not for their activities, our universities would have become glorified secondary schools. Uh -huh. I can tell you, some of them really are glorified secondary schools. I can tell you that. Vice Chancellor that sacks those lecturers was just being over serious to please the government. But what do they care? What happens in our universities do not concern them. Even if we stay at home for two years, it's not their business because their children are studying in the best universities abroad. So because of that, our own academic system should crumble. Yeah. I think the government is insensitive to the plight of students. See, if we come back now, the remaining semester will be rushed. Tomorrow, they will blame the universities for producing half-baked graduates. Me. Prince, His Royal Highness, Obidik, have picked engineer. No, we have picked engineer. Then, His Royal Highness, Prince, Obidike Wokoye, tell the government to do something. If not, you will definitely become half, no, quarterback engineer. 
Let me go to a Kumoya to buy something. Um, sis, can I come with you? No, stay at home. Please. Stay at home. You come full back to engineer. Open the gates for me. Uh, I like that. I like that. Hey. Oh, my Mama? What are you doing? Mama, I'm preparing my food. No, 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 no. Mama, you won't know how to prepare this kind of food. No. See, you won't understand. This food is not prepared the way you prepare your kind of food. Okay, I am a woman. Just tell me how to do it and I will do it. Now you know, Mama. Hey. See, I feel sad when I see you preparing your own food. It's as if the house is divided. No, Mama, we are not divided. In my mind, we are not divided at all. No matter what, we are still one. Mama, and please, I, I, I like to prepare my own food because I get the chance to touch these vegetables. And Mama, I love to touch these vegetables. It shows Brahma's love for mankind. In fact, I want to ask you something. Uh, Mama, go ahead, ask. I'm listening. I heard that you have gotten a piece of land uh, where you want to build your own church and you're already clearing it. Mama, it's not a church. It's a temple. Yes, and the Igwe gave me a piece of land. That is true, although Papa refused to give me one. The Igwe gave you a piece of land where you want to build your own church, or you no. call it temple? Temple, Mama, yes. Imuzo. You said that Igwe gave you a piece of land? Papa! Papa! Mama! Mama! Mama, please! Mama! Let's go to the hospital. anymore. <laughs> well, if anything comes out of it, nothing will come out of it. I have done it and I won't take it back. Even, instead of you giving him something else, why did you have to give him that land at Umebe? That is what he asked for. Why must you yield to his request? Why? I was only sure of position. Are you so unappreciative? I am not. Ibe, what will the community say when they hear it? They might think that you are supporting his religion. Did you ask him what he was using the land for? He did not tell me. And I did not ask. Obinabo. He has started clearing that land to build his religious temple. He is using that land to build his temple. That can be true. It is true, Obinabo. I don't know what will come out next. Mama. Mama. If anything happens to Papa, if anything happens to him,
Nothing will happen to Papa. I just pray so. It's getting better. It's getting better. Chibuzo, which hospital did you take Papa to? Is that um, Genux Hospital at uh, Mama, I have to start going to answer right away. No, no, so no, right wait, away. Wait. They won't allow you to see Papa. Yeah, I only came home to pick a few things. I would take your mama out. Why? <laughs> I have to wait till tomorrow before I can see my lord. Are you going to the hospital now? I want to go with you. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to the hospital now. Oh, but I, I thought that you said that you still have to go back to the hospital to give them some of the things they need. Uh, my lord. Why did you come back? I thought I saw my lord here now. No! 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 Papa is not dead! Papa, Papa is dead! Chibuzo said that Papa is dead! Chibuzo! Chibuzo! No. What did you say? What did you say? Hey. What did you say? Hey! Chibuzo! My lord! My lord! run out of his compound. He stopped me and asked me to help him take his father to the hospital. I did. When we got to the hospital, mm -hmm. he died. Doctor's father dead? Bad. Chibuzo's father is dead. No. I know he can't die. What happened? He said that his father had when he told his mother that since he could not give him a piece of land to build his temple, 
that he waited. So his father slumped. When we got to the hospital, he died. His, his body has been deposited at Genokuya Hospital Mutual. The land. Central School Ajak Mane. He's dead. Hey! You mean uh, the chairman of the Lady Council, Mr. Aloysius Orakui? Yes, Father. He slumped and died this evening. No, I don't believe you. We all had a meeting there at St. Teresa's in the afternoon. Father, people are already paying condolence visit to his family. Jesus Christ. What is really happening? A man so dedicated to the service of God is dead without being sick. What kind of world are we living in? Father, I don't know. Father, I don't know. I'm getting afraid. Hey! That's why I say we should all repent and be prepared. Because it could happen to yes. anybody anytime. Yes, Father. You see, that man lived a good life. And may the good Lord grant him eternal rest. Amen. Um, tell the catechist to liaise with the family members to know the burial arrangement. Yes, Father. The church should play an active part in his burial. Yes, Father. He served the church well. Yes, he did. I'll do that immediately, Father. Please do. Dr. Chibuzora, who is father, is dead. It's not true. It's not true. Why didn't I hear it before now? As we were coming back from the market, we heard them crying. We entered. The man died two hours ago. That was where we did our gossip. The foul that proves to be stubborn drops its stubbornness in a pot of soup. The stubborn fly follows the corpse to the grave. I saw it coming. I sang, but he did not dance. The clown seems to be covering Anyan Singu's eyes. Hmm. But whatever goes up must surely come down. Ah! 
Are you not satisfied? Are you not satisfied? What? What's that? What? Are you not satisfied? What? 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 You give Papa. You give Papa. What? 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 You give Papa. 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 You give I did not kill our father. Well, our father died of high blood pressure. You can, you can go and do an autopsy if you want. Who gave him the high blood pressure? Who gave him the high blood pressure? Are you not the one? It is not done. Are you not the one that gave him high blood pressure? Do this to this. I did not kill my father. My father died of blood pressure. As of the time Papa died, his blood pressure was 280. Over 180. That is why people are always advised to, to check their blood pressure regularly. Papa returned from a late council meeting he attended at St. Theresa's Catholic Church at Ajabari. I walked into the compound and slumped. I ran out quickly to get help and I rushed into the hospital. At the hospital, Papa died. Papa died at the hospital. Mama here is a witness. Huh? She was here with me when Papa slumped. High blood pressure is an instant killer. How can I kill my father? How can I kill the man that gave me life? Doctor, it is okay. It is okay. The most important thing now is how to bury your father. Your father was a man of peace. And we want him to rest in peace. It is okay. Take heart. Eh? Take Praise be to Jesus. Now and forever. Amen. We are sent by Reverend Father Abraham Edokovi. He said that we should come and discuss with you family members and fix a date for the burial of late brother Aloysius Oracle. He also said that the church will assist in any capacity to give late brother Aloysius a befitting burial. Case you have spoken well. We really are grateful to Father Edekobi and all the members of the church for all their efforts. We are grateful to them. We are grateful to all of you. Chibo, uh, let's have a date fixed for the burial, burial of your father. Since all the members of the church. Oh, thank you, Uncle Martin. Well, we have not fixed a date for the burial just yet. But as soon as we do that, we will communicate to you. Sir, um, Tibuzo, why? Why can't we fix the date now that the church representatives and our family members are here? Amara, a man who lived a good life like my father deserves more than just a burial. So? So my father will not be buried, but cremated. Chibuzo, you are not serious. You are not serious. You are not. I am serious, Nora. I am the first. 
and I decide when and how my father's last rites will be for I am the chief boy. Chibuzo, what did you just say? If it's heaven like that, you know that I'm not one. Please, I don't understand what is going on here. But doctor, you said that we should know. Uh, Catechist, I would have advised church members to leave so that we can put our heads together and get back to you. Thank you. I mean that my father who lived a good life would not be buried. Extremated. Meaning that his body would not be buried. But what? Chibuzo, what do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? I said what do you mean? Chibuzo, what do you mean? 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 So that boy has told you what we discussed in secret? In confidence? Or shall I see him? As for going forward or backward, life is about stability. Okay. But many things about life have negative and positive aspect. Are you becoming an ethical? I huh? don't care about your positive or negative. All I know is forward ever and backward never. Benjamin will continue reading because he is reading presently. And Benjamin will continue to go forward. So with all my children. Ah. Okay, let me see who will pay his school fees. If you won't pay his school fees, I will pay his fees. And he will continue to be a Christian. He will take So, Ochoma, you now challenge me in my house? Okay. Eh? Eh? If I don't give you Bogide, give me Bogide. Yes, then no, I'm a bastard. Okay. I will make you walk like a dog. You see it. You see it. He will take Welcome. Mama, I'm ready. So you are now Mama's boy? Eh? You want to plan the kill with your mother against me? I'm sorry for you. Very sorry for you. Papa, please don't blame me. Who is your papa? Eh? Who is your papa? You say, eh? Eventually you're going to prove to me who the father of this boy is. Mama, did you hear what papa is saying? Ben. Did you hear what papa don't is saying? Don't mind him. If he doesn't want you to go to America or Germany, I won't. I'm dreaming of the day you'll come and said. Continue deceiving him. You Follow are him. deceiving yourself. Igwe's son, who is heir to the throne, is reading petrochemical engineering. And your son, who is far from the throne, you want him to read Igwe. Can't you see you are blind? I told you you are blind. Benjamin, let's go. Go where? Yes, no, go where? You want to go to Agua to see him. To do what? Eh? Will you go back to the house, two of you? Go back to the... Go back! 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 Mama, can you imagine that Chibuzo wants to bury Papa like a Hindu, not like a Christian? Hey, how? He wants to burn Papa's corpse instead of burying him. Hey, of course that can never happen. Instead of allowing that kind of thing to happen, I'll, I'll rather die with my husband. No, you will not die. That's an abomination. Come on, Mama. Instead of me to allow Chibuzo to burn Papa's corpse, I'll rather die. Where is he? He's outside there meditating. What's giving me today? Mama. Mama, what is the meaning of this now? You said you will not bury your father's body. And instead you will burn it. Eh? Before you do it, you will kill me first. You will kill me, Chibuzo. You, you have just disturbed my meditation. What is this meditation? Eh? What is this meditation? I have kept quiet for too long. Anyhow you want it now, I will give it to you now. Eh? I would not allow you to bring shame to me and my family. Enough is enough. Kill me. Mama, you are mourning. You are not supposed to shout. Chibuzo. So you are the one doing this to me. You are the one doing this to me. <laughs> I want to die. I want to die. 
Taking my rights for me while I'm still alive? Chibuzo, who did not invite us here? The person who invited us and who knows the tradition bought that cola. Yes. We are here on a peace mission, no matter who invited us here. Tradition is tradition. Uh, Chibuzo, you are the head of this family. Present this cola not to us. In that case, we are not going to choose the cola until we resolve this matter. Ichi Atuyoko, you have spoken well. We will accept the cola not as a sign of peace, but we are going to eat it after resolving the matter that brought us here. Let me have the cola not. <coughs> Thank you, Doctor. We are here in respect of the report that we got that sacrilege is about to be committed in our land. And that you, Dr. Chibuzo Orakwe, said that your father's corpse will not be buried. Instead, it will be burnt according to your own religion. Is it true or false? Thank you, my elders. You see, I want to explain. To Chibuzo, answer the question. True or false? It's very simple. My father who lived a holy life should be cremated. Oh, yeah. huh? And that what? is the right thing to do. You have submitted sacrilege with your mouth. It is. Huh? Elders, you have all had it. We don't need any other evidence. We've had it from the horse's mouth. We are here to tell you that that is unacceptable to us. And you have to change that idea with immediate effect. Oh, yes. The mother we are talking about here is my father. And so what? And I, as the first son, have the exclusive rights to decide on his funeral rights. According to my dictates, beliefs, and wherewithal. Ibu if you try it, we banish you from this land. No and we send you back to India, where you belong. Nobody, Ichiatu, can banish me. For I am a bona fide citizen of this country, protected by the Constitution. Elders, this boy has dared us. Does he think he's the first doctor produced in this land? Huh? Let's go and find out the best way to deal with this idiot. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Bravo. Clap for yourself. You have succeeded in chasing our elders. <laughs> Nonsense.
Let's talk. Laura, I am still your brother. Cannot be fighting and quarreling as if we're enemies. Why have you decided to ridicule our family? Tell me, how many dead people in Oman have been bombed? Do you think I will fold my arms and let you burn my own father's corpse? It is never possible. You claim that as a first son, you have the right to do whatsoever you wish with our father's corpse. But let me tell you, it will never happen. Because I am equally his son. Laura, I am sorry to hurt you and Mama. If you're sorry, Chibuzo, then get off this madness that was tearing our family apart. Get off this insanity that made Papa to die of heartbreak. Chibuzo, you dashed Papa's hopes and expectations. You did. How a man of vision died. And yet, even at death, Chibuzo, you refuse to let our father to be celebrated. Chibuzo, how can you be this callous? Tell me. How can you be this unfeeling and wicked? Papa will be more celebrated if he enters into Brahma. Because Papa attained the Brahma Atma equation. Cut off these dragons, Sibuzo. Cut off these dragons, for God's sake. See, if you have come for peace, the only condition for negotiation is first. Cut off this idea of Papa's body being cremated. Because I will never allow you to use my own father's corpse for rituals. Never. My brother, we don't do rituals. Then what do you do that? Listen. Do you know that if Papa's body is cremated, that the ashes that accompanies his soul will go to so many places and Papa will be born there? Mora, Papa would reincarnate. And then we'll have so many wonderful men in this world. That is what is pushing me. Please try to understand. Look at how low you have fallen. Look at how unreasonable you are. You think can convince me to ban my father's cops? Now listen, take your senseless preaching to whoever that cares to listen. Forget about me. I have tried my best. And I am going ahead to do it. Then try it. Try it, Chibuzo. I have asked for your permission. Even pleaded with you. Yet you refused. Nora, I will do it because it is best for Papa. I know that one day you will understand. Because on Brahman, has attained this high level in Hinduism. You will please don't be short of words. In fact, this is time for you to be full of words because the community you are leading has one man threatening everything, everybody, the entire community. This is strange, very strange. We know all these things, Igwe. Let's do something. Something like that. We can, for example, go and steal the body and keep it somewhere because this man, in his desperation, might burn the body at night. Yes. Is it possible? Laura, you have to get a lawyer fast. With his assistance, he can help you to get a court injunction, restraining your brother from burning your father's corpse 
until the court finishes entertaining the case. This happens several times, in several places. You know, at times people, people do have problems during burial. They go to court. But it's somehow, I mean, policing court injunction on a dead body. Well, it's somehow, but I still recall that some years back, a Los Angeles court sentenced a dead body to three years imprisonment. Three years imprisonment? Yes, and dead body was brought to court. Continue to read your course. Now continue to pay your school fees. Papa, I'm your son. What is it you want me to do? You're going to follow me to somewhere. And then help me in what I want to do. Papa, you do not say it where and what you want me to do. It is a secret. And I'm going to reward you if you don't tell anybody, even your mother. I can keep secrets. Eh? Have I told anybody? I'm sorry, I'm good at you. Eh? Benjamin, when will you become a man? At your age, you, you can't even do things that a, a man. Look at what you're asking your son to do. Listen, if you don't do what I've told you to do, I'll stop paying your school fees. If you don't pay my school fees, then I'll tell my mother. We could not file the papers at the court. We finished around um, 3.30 p.m. and the courts have closed by then. But I'm feeling that by Monday, you will get the court injunction. Um, we'll be okay. Are we ready? Yes. The unforeseen has happened. What happened? I know you're a waste shop. Cops is missing. Don't say that again. I could not see it at Yenukuya Mosuare, where it was taken to. Are you sure that that was the place where it was kept? I am sure of what I'm saying. I don't know what has happened. This is becoming more and more strange and difficult. Eh? Ibu, hmm? I think we have to see Anyai Simbu. Anyai Simbu. Immediately. While I rushed talker for a very crucial meeting, I'll see you when I come back. Please. I'll see you when I come back. Dad. 
Is there any problem? There's no problem. But Dad, I was watching you and Ichiya too. Your countenance wasn't okay. Oh, but you can go and bring that car out and stop talking nonsense. We're late. Darkness has covered daylight. The gods have refused to speak. Yes. Please, and I sing one. You have to make them to speak. Let them speak. Have they become deaf and dumb gods? Eh? The fish inhabits the waters. Well, you can't force it to swim. The birds of the air have their wings. But they use them when they didn't fit. As for the gods, silence is what they have chosen. No. Silence. Uh, uh, please, Anisimbo, what shall we do? Listen, the snake has left the dry grass and its whereabouts unknown. Let us wait on the gods. Where is the body of Aloysius, Anisimbo? Where is the body of Aloysius? That's the important thing. Sister Paulina and Brother Mora. Yes. Temptations do come. Even our Lord Jesus Christ was tempted. All we need to do is to pray. My son, I have a I know, but you must not relent. The whole church is praying for you people and for the repose of the soul of our brother who has just departed from this world. Christ said we should pray without ceasing. Father, we've been praying. Just that my brother has... I know, I know, Brother Mora. That's why I have come. Though he's not here, we will wait for him to come. With prayer, God can still change his mind. Or don't you think so? Father, I am beginning to fear my son. There's no need to fear anybody. The Bible says we should not fear anybody who can only kill the body. Rather, we should fear the person who can kill both the body and the soul. Now the soul is immortal. He cannot gain access to it. So there's no need to fear. Thank you very much, Father. You have indeed lifted my spirits. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. And that's why I'm impressed. You see. Um, I want to assure you, people, that once I see him, we will be able to reach an agreement. And our brother Aloysius will start his final journey. So there's no cause for alarm. You see, your father lived a life worthy of emulation. He was baptized in the church. He was a communicant. He received the sacrament 
confirmation as a soldier of Christ. In fact, he also received the sacrament of holy matrimony with your beloved mother. Even before he died, he was the chairman of the Laity Council. You can see that a man who has devoted his life diligently to the service of the church would like to be buried in the church. And did my father tell you that? Listen, my brother. A man who died in a faith should be buried in that faith. It is just fair that your father be buried by the people who he has professed the same faith with. Reverend Father Abraham and the Gobi, you have neither parts nor lots in the matter that we are discussing. This is clearly a family matter, and I do not see your local standing on this issue. You are right. I am not a member of this family, but as a minister of God, I have a duty to perform. Oh, I see. You have a duty to perform. Very well. And let me ask you, am I under any obligation to accept your views? Can't you see that you are intruding into a matter that is purely the families? Oh, but we all belong to a larger family, which is the church. And by inference, you are a member. No, 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 please, Father Abraham, no. I am not a member of your church. And let me ask you, in a man's family, who decides how a man should be buried? Uh, of course. He's heir with the family members. And are you Aloysius' heir or a member of his family? I am not. But I am bound by my duty to make sure that families do the right thing for their own spiritual well-being which is obligatory to me. Dr. Chibuza, I plead with you for the sake of your Reverend mother... Father Abraham. What do you want from me? Good. I plead with you to let your father be buried according to the dictates of the church. So when do you want the burial to be? Good. Now that we have agreed, let us choose a date convenient to you. Laura. I think we still need the court injunction. Mama, I will still ask the lawyer to get it. Why? Eh? The Reverend Father has settled everything with Chibuzo. I will get it just in case he decides to change his mind. Why would he want to change his mind after he has agreed on a date with the Reverend Father? Mama, you never can tell. I don't think we still need it. Mama, we need it. I don't want anything to make Chibuzo change his mind. Though. Mama, if he likes, let him change his mind. I can handle Chibuzo. The problem with all of you is that you are all very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Oh, thank eh? you, Mama. Excuse me. Follow me if you want to see things for yourself. I will not just want you to hear alone. I want you to come, see, touch, or even talk. I would have followed you, but I'm coming from where my husband sent me. Husband, he will be waiting for me. He will wait for you and go out. If you miss to come with me, or Choma, if you miss to come with me now, you will never have this knowledge until you die. Brahma Atma Vishnu, 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 Brahma Atma Vishnu.
Brahma Atma Vishnu, 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 Brahma Atma Vishnu. <laughs> what, what is it? What do you mean? You look worried. Because my father's corpse is missing. My father's corpse is missing. What? When? How do you mean? Dose, I just got the court's injunction. Went to Jenax Hospital okay. Mortuary to see how well my father's corpse has been preserved. Only to find out that my father's corpse has been moved since three days ago. Hey! I think this your brother has played the first one on you. Isn't it? Sir. come on, see. Isn't it? As we were coming inside the compound, I saw some people inside your compound, but I don't know what they are doing. Maybe it's Father Abraham or Chibuzo. Mm -hmm. He says their members have something to do here today. What is it? What is the matter? I don't know, I don't know. Okay, listen, uh, let's manage my own. Let me beg my driver. Huh? See, uh, bros, you have to do me a favor now. Go for something. Let's enter his bike, at least. Yeah? Thank you. my father into this compound for you to pay your last respects to him. Otherwise, this funeral ceremony would have been performed at our temple ground. What is one? Ochamba, go and come for me. I want to go more. If you go out there, what you see Oh, Chama, please come back. Please come back. Mama, pay your last respects to my father. Your beloved husband. My lord! My lord! My lord, I'm so lonely. I am so lonely, my Lord. Take me with you. I want to die with you, my Lord. Oh, my Lord, please. 
I am sorry for everything that Jesus has done to you. I am not a bad of it, my Lord. My Lord, if he's going to burn you, let him burn me with you. I want to be burned with my Lord. Master of the universe. Officially, ah! messenger. <laughs> Grant my wishes. Grant my wishes. Oh, Brahma at my vision. Oh, Brahma at my vision. Oh, Brahma at. Mama, keep quiet. I watch the soul, the Atma of my father. Go into Brahma. Oh my God! What is this again? For for Christ's sake! Don't. Hey, tired. I don't see. My mind tells me that something is wrong at home. We have to see later. Wait now, eh? Take, Thank you. 